Hello guys, today I am going to show you how to install a Windows OS on the NetCup VPS. So if you bought a NetCup VPS, it is really affordable, but it comes with a default Linux uh, operating system. And if you want to install a Windows, it is still possible. So on the first step, you will need to log in into your server control panel. And on the server control panel, you choose the uh, VPS that you want to convert to a Windows OS. So over at your local computer, make sure you have the ISO file for the Windows server ready. Next, we will hit back to the VPS. And on the VPS, select the media. And once you're on the media, select the DVD drive right here you have the option to select the ISO file which is provided by NetCup but it has only a 180 days evaluation for this case we will be uploading our own ISO file into the VPS so we will be using the FTP information provided by the SCP. You will need to FTP your ISO file into the hostname and the credential that is provided. Make sure that you uploaded your ISO file into the CD-ROM directory. So now we are connected to the FTP server and on the FTP server, we will be selecting CD-ROM. Once we are in the CD-ROM directory, we will be transferring the ISO into the CD-ROM and we will let the upload to complete. So over here, I am uploading a Windows Server 2003, which is a really, really old Windows server. So I do get a lot of questions, why do I uh, upload such an old OS into the VPS? Generally, if you bought a low budget VPS, it comes with a uh, VPS with very little resources. So you will want to use a really old OS, which consumes less uh, resources on the VPS for maximum efficiency. So right now the upload is at 8% we will let the upload process to complete. So once we have uploaded the ISO file, we hit back to the DVD drive. And if we go to our own DVD, once it refresh, we should be able to see our own uploaded ISO file. So once we are uploading the Windows 2003 ISO, we go to DVD drive. Next, we go to own DVD and we click refresh. And over here, we can see that uh, our uploaded owns DVD. We select the ISO. We set the boot, boot mode to DVD and we key in our SCP locked in password. Next, we click save. So once we click save, it will process the while it's also uploading the ISO. So once we have attached the DVD, we will see a new me menu on the SCP while we are also uploading the Windows 2003 server ISO. So I'll just let the upload to finish. So once your upload is finished, you can reboot 
your VPS and start the Windows installation. To do that, we will just do a force power off on the VPS. Do make sure that the DVD is the ISO is attached to the DVD. So we will be attaching the uploaded ISO into the DVD and we need to key in the SCP password. So once we have attached the ISO into the DVD, we go back to control and we start back our server. So once we have started, our server go to screen and we should be able to see the Windows setup. If in case you did not get a Windows setup, there may be a chance that uh, your Windows driver is not uh, set properly. To do that, we go to media and we go back to DVD drive. We need to mount the Windows driver first before we mount our ISO to start the installation. So let's go back to our console to proceed with the Windows server setup. For this case, the Windows server did not find any hard drive. So, so for this case, it could be that the Windows server doesn't have any uh, SCSI hard drive driver. For this case, I would be changing my hard drive to an IDE hard drive. So to do that, I will need to power off the VPS server. And once the VPS server has been powered off, I would be changing the driver into an IDE driver. And I would hit back to control and I would do a restart on the VPS. Next, hit back to the screen and proceed with the installation. So for this case, I am able to proceed with the installation. So click I agree. So we are now able to see the unpartitioned space of the VPS. So let's proceed with the formatting of the hard drive. And after the reboot, we are now able to install a Windows Server 2003 into our VPS. And so we have finally managed to install a Windows Server 2003 into our VPS. So uh, we will be locked. By default, the, it seems that the network card is not detected by the Windows Server. So in case if you could not detect the network card, you can play around with the network settings and especially with the drivers or the speed uh, until you can detect the network card. So for this case, I would be uh, setting it into E2000 or the other one to see which one works for uh, my server. So for this case, I would need to power off and do a restart for the driver to take effect. So after playing around with the driver and doing a restart, I am able to connect to the internet. I would proceed to perform updates into the server. So the rest of the process is up to your own choice. 
I do hope that this video has been helpful to you. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.